If you've been waiting for Hit Film Express 2017, then you're in luck. Because it's been released. Hey everybody, Mike Miller from Try and Visual here. And uh, here we are in Hit Film Express 2017. This update has all kinds of exciting new features. Let's just get the big one out of the way by going over to the project settings, calling down the template, and scrolling down a bit. As you can see, project setting templates now go up to 4K. So I wasn't kidding when I said let's get the big one out of the way first. 4K has been something that Express users have been asking for for a long time, and now you have it. Being able to create projects in 4K is going to require a fairly hefty GPU. You will require a GPU with 2 gigabytes of RAM. So this isn't going to help you users who are just using an integrated GPU like an Intel HD 4000. But for those of you with more powerful hardware, this is it. This is what you've been asking for. 4K projects in HitFilm for free. And we'll take a look at some of the new features in the interface. HitFilm Express 2017 brings a lot of the new features of HitFilm Pro 2017 into the free version of the software. Over here you can see the audio mixer. This adds a lot of new features for HitFilm Express users. You now have the ability to keyframe volume levels or keyframe pan positions within your audio mixes. You will have these faders here to adjust your audio. This fader to adjust left-right balance and mute and solo buttons for your audio tracks. Something else new in HitFilm Express 2017 that makes its way over from Pro is the ability to automatically sync external audio with camera audio. You select your video track in the media pool, then control and select the audio track, right click, and hit merge audio and video. HitFilm will think for a moment and then create a new media clip with the audio and video merged. There are new keyboard shortcuts to set in and out points in the trimmer, along with a bunch of new keyboard shortcuts for things like J cuts, L cuts, linking and unlinking media on the timeline. There are just a whole bunch of new keyboard shortcuts, and I don't have time to list them all. The best way to go check those out is to come up to the file menu, go into options, come over to keyboard shortcuts, and browse the list. Also new to HitFilm Express 2017, and just recently added to HitFilm Pro 2017, HitFilm now can properly interpret variable frame rate files, such as those taken from a cell phone, tablet, or a screen capture. Previous versions of HitFilm required transcoding variable frame rate footage to constant frame rate footage before import, otherwise the audio would drift out of sync with the video in the final output. By properly interpreting VFR footage, HitFilm users are no longer required to transcode their footage before use. So most of Essential HitFilm Episode 7 is technically obsolete. That said, you can still gain performance benefits by transcoding your footage into an optimized format. So HitFilm University Episode 7 is still useful for those purposes, but it's a lot easier now to just edit and go. Along with VFR support, Mac users now have native support to import and export Apple ProRes, including 10-bit and 12-bit files. Windows users now have native import and export of GoPro Cineform files, also in 10-bit and 12-bit. I'm going to come back into the Options menu and go into the Cache settings. In previous versions of HitFilm Express, the RAM preview had a maximum value of 4 gigabytes. With HitFilm Express 2017, you can allocate as much of your RAM if you want to. Also brought in from HitFilm Pro 2017 is the new export queue. Now in HitFilm Express, you can select your composite shot or your editing timeline, click on the export queue buttons, and choose to either go to the export or continue editing. Here in the export queue, you'll see a list of new export presets. For complete information on using the export queue in HitFilm Express 2017, See the previous episode, Essential Hit Film Episode 2, How to Import and Export Everything. One new feature in Hit Film Express is that the export queue is now persistent in between editing sections. Up here you can see this job which is finished. 
This was me rendering out that galaxy over a week ago. Having the export queue being persistent in between work sessions is helpful if you're in the middle of a larger project and want to set up exports for batch at the end of a session. Being able to set up the export queue with composite shots and editor timelines from multiple projects and having that list stay persistent in between editing sessions is a great addition to the workflow. Moving back into the edit timeline and to a composite shot, we can take a look at dynamic toolbox property searching. In earlier versions of HitFilm, you were able to search the effects panel by coming to the effects panel and typing in keywords, such as a blur, which filters the effects list to show nothing but blurs. The same functionality now comes to the layer stack, and by searching in the timeline for a specific property, such as scale, the layer stack will now automatically bring up all the scale settings. This functionality extends to the layer controls as well. Being able to filter your layer timeline and your layer controls by keywords is a massive time saver when working on complex animations. Also new in HitFilm 2017, layer controls and layer stack states remain persistent when switching in between composite shots. So if I move to my galaxy setup and then back to the cloud swirl shot we were in, the layer stack and layer controls are still filtering to my previously selected keywords. Another new feature in HitFilm Express 2017, which just got added to HitFilm Pro 2017 with update four, is dynamic reflections. So right here, I've got set up a plane with a gradient on it, some text, a still photo, and a video clip. And we're looking at the layer controls for the text object. And in the text object, you can see that I have receives and cast reflections toggled on. I also have reflections toggled on for the still photo, the plane, and the video clip. But we're not seeing those right now because in my render options, I have all of that stuff turned off. Let me click that on and you can see what dynamic reflections do. With the dynamic reflections and the lights and the shadows, everything is reflecting everything else. These are updated in real time. So this is just an exciting new option that opens up a lot of possibilities for different compositing tasks. Also new in HitFilm Express 2017 are new effects presets. Let's drag a color gradient to this plane and move over into the color gradient effect. If I open this drop down menu, I have a bunch of presets ranging from black and white vertical, skies, reds, Having presets built into most of the effects can speed up your workflow. There are a few changes to the effects in HitFilm Express 2017. The environment map viewer found in HitFilm 4 Express is now the 360 degree video viewer and the environment map and the environment map transform in HitFilm 4 Express is now the 360 degree video transform. These work almost exactly the same in HitFilm Express 2017, but they have been slightly enhanced with these new use fisheye lens and use camera FOV toggles. Whether being called the environment map viewer or 360 degree video viewer, these effects still allow you to work with 360 degree media in HitFilm Express. Also in HitFilm Express 2017 is the action cam lens distort. The effect in its default mode is intended to add distortion to effects to match to fisheye footage such as that from a GoPro. But by reversing the effect, you can remove the lens distortion from GoPro or other fisheye type lenses. Removing heavy distortion will require you to resize and recrop your frame, but definitely removes a lot of the distortion caused by extreme wide angle lenses. Other new effects in the effects list include the light sword two point, four point, and glow only. In HitFilm 4 Express, these were part of the sci-fi adventures add-on pack. In HitFilm Express 2017, you'll find them in the base version of the software. Also new to the effects list in HitFilm Express 2017 is the heat distortion effect. In HitFilm 4 Express, this was part of the destruction pack add-on. In HitFilm Express 2017, it's been added to the base effects list. Some of the old effects have been enhanced in HitFilm 2017. Fractal noise is a great example. The fractal noise effect now has three new algorithms, energy, 
fluid, and smoke. These are just more options that extend the functionality of one of the more useful effects that was already in HitFilm. Another one of the effects enhanced in HitFilm Pro 2017 is the Sphere effect. If you open up the Sphere effect and come down, you'll see a new group for illumination. And in illumination, you can select lights. Yes, the Sphere effect now responds to lights in your HitFilm scene. You also have material controls to tune how your sphere layer reacts to the lights in your scene. If you like to make space scenes in HitFilm, just having sphere react to lights in HitFilm Express 2017 is going to make it a lot easier to set up your space shots. Another small adjustment in HitFilm Express 2017 is how you drag and scale things in the viewer window. Currently, dragging the corner scales around the center. But if you hold down Control or Command on a Mac, then you can now scale around the opposite corner. Nice if you need it. There will be a few changes to the add-on packs in HitFilm Express 2017. I'm looking at the HitFilm Express add-on store for HitFilm 4 Express because at the time of recording this, the new store isn't up yet. Add-on packs you purchased in HitFilm 4 Express should carry over to HitFilm Express 2017, so all of your add-ons will move with you. If you already have the Destruction Pack, you should find three new effects. Energy Distortion, Fluid Distortion, and Smoke Distortion. As mentioned, the Heat Distortion that used to be in the Destruction Pack is now a baseline effect in HitFilm Express 2017. The Sci-Fi Adventure Pack has been updated. It will now have Light Sword Ultra, this is a new light sword effect added in HitFilm Pro 2017 and takes the original light sword effect and adds distortion effects to the core and the blade. Basically, it takes a great effect and makes it even better. The Mocha plugin for HitFilm 4 Express was based off the Mocha version 4 engine. Mocha HitFilm in 2017 is based off Mocha 5's engine. Mocha 5 is GPU accelerated so you'll immediately experience faster speeds when tracking rotos or when doing camera solves. Mocha also runs as a plugin in HitFilm Express 2017. What this means is that Mocha can now track any media directly from the HitFilm timeline, including embedded comps or even generated media. Roto splines in Mocha HitFilm will now apply directly to the layer via the plugin engine. Tracks and camera solves will still be exported and imported as composite shots. This really does change the workflow compared to prior versions, for the most part making it easier. Somebody should really do some updated tutorials for Mocha HitFilm 2017, and whoever that is will probably beat me to it. While HitFilm University does intend on doing Mocha HitFilm tutorials, those come after we cover all of the features in HitFilm, so it'll be a while. The Boris 3D Objects plugin in HitFilm 4 Express was based off Boris Continuum Complete 9. In HitFilm Express 2017, Boris 3D Objects is upgraded to that based off of Boris Continuum Complete 10. What this means is you'll get the new Title Studio effect. Title Studio basically combines the functionality of the old extruded text effect with the type on text effect and the layer deformer effect, all wrapped up into one single interface. That more or less wraps it up for our quick look at the new features in HitFilm Express 2017. You get some new effects, you get new features like the audio panel, new shortcuts, 4K, high DPI support, expanded RAM previews, and a whole bunch more. And the best thing about it is, it's still free. So why are you still listening to me? Go over to hitfilm.com and download the new and upgraded HitFilm Express 2017 right now. No, really. Sir, go. 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 It's free. HitFilm Express 2017. Free. Free. Free.